Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Second attempt at making this video here, so let's hope this works out. Okay, so I put up a post. This is really geared towards C++ developers, experienced C++ developers that also know Mac, Linux, and even, dare I say, BSD. So right now I put up a post called uh, on my blog, quantlabs.net slash blog called why I choose open source C++ WX widgets over QT restrictions in it. A couple things with QT, it's restricted with all the legal jargon, all the really um, tight uh, restrictions on what you can do with the library, what you can use, what you cannot use. Uh, it's a bastardized version of C++ because it's proprietary. So if you want to insert, uh, import other projects, uh, C++ projects, into W uh, into QT, you chances are it may not properly export because it's not a true uh, language for C++ support because you're going through proprietary compilers in QT Creator, creator the uh, IDE. With WX widgets, you don't have any of that at all. It's free, it's true open source, it's true C++. So this is the reasons why I go with it. Uh, in here, there's two links here I provided in this art, uh, article I just told you about on the blog. First, there's the different versions. Uh, so in here, there's Linux, the Mac, and then the Windows version. Under building here, under that's under GitHub. You can uh, check out the WX OS 10 or OS X, as people would say. Uh, you can always tell it the experienced and non-experienced Mac users out there. Let's say that. And then um, in there, what will happen is it will take you to uh, further instructions. You got to do the download of the GitHub uh, cloning. Uh, and in here, once you get all set up, you are ready to go and build your project and follow these instructions. If you know C++ again, should have a problem to run the samples right here as well uh, to do that in both the samples and demos. So I'll just show you some out of box uh, demos here. So in here we have a uh, 40, I, I, I don't know if it's solitaire or supposed to be solitaire. So let's check that out. Um, so these should compile, build no problem, linking the whole nine yards. Uh, and be able to go through all this stuff and um, uh, okay so so you know you get the idea if it's solitaire or whatever but um, we'll leave it at that um, also we have some other things like life bombs I don't know what they are fractal just generates random fractals so they all work there's tons of samples and showing the features of WX widgets so I'm not going to get into it any further uh, but I just want to show you the pros and cons of it as well as showing you um, the capabilities of fractal or sorry the capabilities of WX widgets I'm hoping to get this working uh, Mac it's just a real pain in the ass because to get um, the C compiler, GCC, um, hopefully you know this, Xcode minimal install. That's a waste of six gigs and uh, get it working. And I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to eventually move my development on to a better environment being BSD or Linux, um, where it's lighter and faster as well. Uh, the interface isn't exciting, but uh, you can do some really cool stuff with it. So. Hopefully, as I said, I'll be able to get this WX chart directors working as well. That's part of my course, the Python custom course that I've uh, gone on about, as well as there's the um, free books at quantlabs.net that you can get or the DVD to learn that as well. So we'll leave it at that. Um, so there's a lot out there. But again, this is really meant for experienced C++ developers that really understand this and want to uh, develop some uh, front-end or graphical user interface applications with whatever they develop, Python, bots, or whatever.
that's pretty well it. Thanks for watching. You have yourselves a good day, and we shall talk to you soon.